Just like with any other WordPress theme, when you install and activate Simone, the menu at the top displays the default WordPress menu that consists of the home link pointing to the home page and then a list of all the static pages on your site in alphabetical order. So in the demo site that I built for this course, I only have one static page called About. So that's why you see a menu containing only the home link and an About link. Depending on the setup on your site, you may see one or two or several different links and you may even see drop-down links. It all depends on how many static pages you have on your site and how your site has been configured. In most cases though, you want to customize the menu to display exactly what you want. And you can do that with Simone. In addition, there's also a hidden menu you can choose to activate to display something else. And we'll look at that in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at the menu itself. To customize the menu, you need to go to the WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance and Menus. Now here I've already created a menu that I'm going to use. You see it here, it's just a standard WordPress menu that has a link to Home, one to WordPress with a sub item for WordPress tips. Then you have a tutorials item with two sub items and then you have the about link. And right now this menu just sits on its own. It's not pointing to any specific theme location. So what I'm going to do is point this menu to the primary menu theme location. I can do that either directly from the menu itself by simply clicking primary menu here under theme locations and clicking save menu. Or I can go to manage locations. And here you see primary menu and I can use the drop down to select the menu I want to display. But right now I only have one menu created within WordPress itself. So I only have that one option. Now that I've assigned the main menu to the primary menu area, I can open my front page in a separate tab and you'll see my main menu now displays all the menu items. If I hover over WordPress, I get the dropdown with the WordPress tips. If I hover over tutorials, I get the dropdown with building a WordPress business and also web standards. And of course I have the about page. If I go to any of these, you'll see that the current page gets highlighted and the same will happen to a sub page. So if I have a sub item here, that's an actual page and not a category like it is right now, you'll see that the main menu item is highlighted in gray and then the one that's being displayed on the page will be highlighted in white. So that way the user can easily see where he or she is on the site. Now that I have the menus built out, I also want to show you that this theme is fully accessible, meaning you don't have to use a mouse to access the menu. If you are confined to using a keyboard or some other way of navigating the site, you can simply use the tab key and you'll see that right off the top, you can skip directly to the content so you don't have to read all the content at the top. The next tab gets you to the site title. So this will be the link taking you to the front page. And then we get to the menu. So here I'm highlighting home, then I'm going to WordPress, and then I can skip down to the first item within the WordPress option. Then I skip to tutorials and then through the drop down here, and then finally to about, then the search option, and then I jump down to the main content. So as you add in new menu items here, you'll see that all of these menu items will be fully accessible using keyboards or other form of navigation. So that was the main menu, but I mentioned that there's an extra custom menu that you can choose to use if you want to. This is a social media menu that you can add in. And if you do so, you'll get social media icons appearing here on the right hand side of the menu, right next to the search loop. So let me show you how to activate that menu. First, I'll go back to menus and click edit menus. Here, I'm going to create a new menu and I'm going to call this menu social media or just social menu. And then I'm going to add a series of links to social media outlets. So here I'm going to add a link to Twitter and this would be me on Twitter. I'll just say Twitter as the link text. It doesn't actually matter what the link text is here and you'll see that in a bit, but it's a good idea to make the link text what you're actually pointing at. Then I'll say Facebook slash Linda. And I'll say plus.google.com slash Morton slash plus 
Morton and Hendrickson. And I could go on like this with most common social media networks. Now that I have these links and they're pointing directly to those social media items, I'm simply going to check social menu down here and then click save menu. Now you noticed I did nothing with icons here, right? All I did was put in the Twitter link and then the name Twitter, same thing with Facebook and same thing with Google+. Now if I go and reload the page now, you'll see that the icons for each of these social networks appears automatically for me. That's because the theme has been built to detect where the links are pointing and then pick the appropriate icon to display in this menu. So all you have to do is point to the networks in question and the links will automatically appear. Now, of course, this doesn't work with every single possible social network, but in the theme, I cover 15 different social networks that are the most common ones. So try and see if the one that you want to use is there. And if it's not, contact me and I may add it in in a future rendition of the theme. One final thing, the menu, just like everything else, is fully responsive, meaning if I reduce the width of my screen here down to a small width, you'll see that the menu changes to this menu button. And if you click on it, you get a drop down with all the menu items directly accessible. So that means if you're using a small device like a phone, the menu is just as functional as it is on a large screen like the one I'm using right now. So now that you know how to use the menus inside Simone, go build your own menus and see how they work for your content.